there's a new health concern making headlines. HMPV or human metanumovirus. Recently, Chinese state media reported that HMPV is one of the pathogens contributing to a rise in respiratory illnesses in the country. Naturally, this has raised concerns in other regions. And as you'd expect, comparisons to the infamous coronavirus are making the rounds. People are asking, is HMPV the same as the COVID-19 virus? Are we looking at another potential pandemic? So let's break it down. What is HMPV? First off, HMPV is not the same as the virus that caused COVID-19. COVID-19 was caused by SARS-CoV-2, a coronavirus, while HMPV belongs to a completely different family, paramyxoviruses. This family includes viruses like respiratory syncytial virus, RSV. Importantly, HMPV isn't new. Human metanumovirus was first identified in 2001, in the Netherlands, by Dutch scientists, and has been circulating for decades. It mainly causes respiratory illnesses, especially in people with weakened immune systems. Symptoms are typically similar to those of a common cold, and can include runny nose, cough, fever, and in severe cases, difficulty breathing. How is HMPV different from COVID-19? Here's a quick comparison. Both HMPV and COVID-19 primarily spread through respiratory droplets, close contact, and touching contaminated surfaces. Transmissibility. COVID-19 has shown higher transmissibility compared to HMPV. HMPV typically causes milder cold-like symptoms. COVID-19 can trigger a broader range of symptoms, including loss of taste or smell, and carries a higher potential for systemic complications. Both viruses are riskier for young children, the elderly, and individuals with weakened immune systems. In severe cases, HMPV can lead to bronchitis or pneumonia, and in rare instances, death, especially among those with underlying health conditions. A report by Apollo Hospital also notes that ear infections may occur, particularly in children. While both HMPV and COVID-19 share similar symptoms, but COVID-19 has caused far more severe systemic and global impacts than HMPV. Despite over two decades since its discovery, there is currently no vaccine or specific antiviral treatment available for HMPV. Recent outbreaks in China and detections in India have raised concerns about its potential impact. Since there's no specific treatment or vaccine for HMPV, prevention focuses on managing symptoms like fever and cough with rest, hydration, and medication. General hygiene measures include washing hands, wearing masks, avoiding contact with sick individuals, and disinfecting surfaces. And here's the thing, while it can be concerning, especially during flu seasons, when hospitals see an uptick in respiratory illnesses, HMPV doesn't spread as rapidly or cause the same global disruption as COVID-19. We already know how to manage it in most cases. So, the bottom line, HMPV is different from COVID-19. Although HMPV can cause respiratory infections, it is not expected to lead to a global pandemic. It's something to watch, yes, especially in vulnerable populations, but it's not the same catastrophic threat we saw with the coronavirus.